Welcome to temperate rainforest. This area is considered a rainforest because it gets up to 12 feet of precipitation a year. 12 feet! It's just amazing. Rainforests have different levels. So what you're looking at behind me is the forest floor, the ground level. Often that's kind of controlled and eaten by elk in this area. But watch what happens as we start to pan the camera up. See the different levels? Look how high up it goes. This rainforest is considered temperate, not tropical. That's because it is located far from the equator in Olympic National Park in Washington State, where the climate is quite cool, especially in winter. So you don't see palm trees and other tropical plants. The trees in this rainforest may even look familiar to those living in the mid-latitudes. This forest, however, has some interesting differences from forests located even nearby. In New York, we have lots of maple trees, right? Take a look at the maple trees here in this rainforest in Washington State, which gets 12 feet of rain a year. Look at the moss growing from the trunk and the branches. See how much taller they are? This is something you see a lot of in rainforests, tropical and temperate, like the one we're in right now. Look at these bits of moss coming down. These are aerial plants that aren't part of the tree that supports them. They can grow without having any connection to the ground. That's because there's so much moisture, these plants get everything they need from the air around them and the light that comes through. So this is something you see frequently in this rainforest. Take a look at this tree that fell over, it's died, and as you go up, you can see that it's a nursery for baby or, or small trees that are just growing out of the remains of the older tree. Scientists call these dead trees nurse logs. Trees are so big here that they can take over a hundred years to decompose, and that is more than enough time for new trees to take root and grow in the decomposing log. After the nurse log decomposes, the trees that remain may appear to have their roots above the ground, and they sometimes trace the path of the nurse log that has disappeared. To understand the effects of climate change, on these temperate rainforests, let's go back to the idea that this area gets 12 feet of precipitation a year. That's three times what New York gets and six times what San Francisco gets. This area, however, has been seeing record heat in summer months and has generally been growing warmer throughout the year. That means more precipitation has been falling as rain, rather than snow. Snow can take time to melt in the mountains near these forests, and that means the forests slowly receive water well into the warmer and drier summer. With less snow melt, the forests dry out during the warm summer months, and wildfires have managed to burn in the area in spite of all the rain they typically get. That has burned trees which are over a thousand years old, adding all of that carbon to an already choked atmosphere around the earth. Can you see the burned forest in this photograph? These rainforests are so thick that the methods firefighters often use don't work well here. When you dump water from an aircraft into these thick forests, little of it even reaches the burning ground. Cutting away trees at the edge of the fire to keep it from spreading doesn't work when the trunks are so thick. That means we are seeing more forest fires in areas that don't usually get them and where the fires are even harder to fight. 
with more fires to come here and all over the American West.